You can't beat a train, so don't try. Stop. Trains can't. Paid for by NHTSA. The good old summertime is almost over, but you still have time to save money on new flooring during 651 Carpet's annual summertime super sale. Waterproof luxury vinyl plank flooring can be yours for as low as $5 a square foot. Spectacular plush carpeting as low as $2. Season heard live on FM 100.3, KFXN, Minneapolis, St. Paul. The Fan. Programming on The Fan today is brought to you by Cars for Kids. Help me, I think I'm falling in love again. When I get that crazy feeling, I know I'm in trouble again. I'm in trouble because you're a rambler and a gambler and a sweet talking lady. The talented and lovely Joni Mitchell and help me. What number is this on our Rolling Stone top one, top 500? 464. 464. I think it should be a little higher than that, but that's just me. Of course, when I first heard that song when I was really high. I'm the common man, Dan Cole. He's tend to be, and we welcome back with open arms, the legendary one, Mark Rosen. Good, uh, good afternoon. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, wow. It's good to be back. It, it really is. Um, it's, it's a, it was really important uh, for me to get back to you guys and uh, the, my uh, my brothers here at the station and uh, the people who you know like I mean they're kind of my my second family dysfunctional as it is um, <laughs> it's my second family and first of all I, I just I, I, I want to express my absolute uh, thanks from the bottom of my heart for everyone who reached out during this time uh, uh, my wife passed away on August thirtieth um, and just the outpouring I I I don't have I have no words which is <laughs> unusual for me too but seriously I, I wish I could reach out and embrace everybody who sent something and and uh, I it meant so much to me and my kids uh, in particular um, just that people who I've never met and maybe will never meet um, reached out and, and sincerely offered their 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 condolences their good feelings and I I look at it this way look every family uh, goes through stuff I mean this is uh, I I was no different uh, but I I was always hopeful that my public voice could at least help ease um, other people's uh, issues and pain and, and uh, sort of questions that they have, especially from my standpoint about what I felt was important going through a grieving process, which to me honestly started um, in July of 2018 when my wife was diagnosed with uh, stage four glioblastoma uh, brain cancer, which for which there is no cure. And, and, uh, uh, people have different paths uh, that they take, uh, but the the end result is always the same. Uh, always the same. And she had two and a half really good quality years of her life, uh, and then unfortunately the last six months were as expected. Uh, not that way, but she was peaceful, and and we had great care at the Givens Brain Tumor Center, um, little hospice house over in Edina at the end. The last thirty five days and. I was surrounded by love. She was surrounded by love, and uh, it was she, was she was an extraordinary person, and that came out last Friday in common. You guys and Brandon, mm-hmm. you were there for, we had a celebration of her life, and I want to thank uh, Julius Collins and Dr. Mambo's Combo for playing her Motown music, which uh, meant everything to her, having grown up in Gary, Indiana, and a lot of tears, a lot of, you know, some laughs, and a lot of this way you want it, uh, want it to be, but... Um, Wow. I mean, it, it is, it's still no matter what you think and you know, what, how it's going to end, you know, it was going to end this way. And her quality of life was uh, at the end, you're going, it's just, you want it to be over with. I mean, you just right. do as hard, you know, you went through this with your mom. I went through, and again, everyone listening probably has gone through it at one point or another, but I've honestly had never, um, I've never seen someone, especially someone as well as my wife, uh, literally take her last breath. It is, it's profound. That's yeah. all I can say. And if it's not, it's sad. It was, but it, it's, there's something um, really spiritual about it. I'm not the most religious guy in the world, but you know, you believe what you want to believe. It doesn't matter. But uh, the nurses all said that she can continue to hear you. And she hadn't opened her eyes in the last week, week and a half. And uh, even though uh, she could hear us, uh, 
but the last uh, 45, 50 seconds of her life, she opened her eyes wide and looked right at us, and we were playing her favorite music, her Stevie Wonder music. Isn't she lovely? The song ended right when she passed, and it was like, wow. It was, it was I got chills thinking about it. Um, but you couldn't ask for any more from, from, from a care standpoint. Uh, and, you know, just to say that, uh, and I, I told people this a lot, you, you got you to take care of yourself. When you're in a caregiving position, and it was really hard at home, really, really hard. My, my daughter, who was my, my co-pilot and my saint, my angel on my shoulder, um, was uh, beyond her years in terms of what she did and helped me out. And But it's hard work. Um, it's really, really hard work, and I feel for people. But I, my suggestion to anyone who's going through this is to take care of yourself. I mean, don't be afraid to, to seek out help, however you, however you define that, with grieving counselors, therapy, whatever it might be. Uh, it's a must. You can't do it alone. It's impossible it's just, it's, 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 it could be destructive. It can be really adverse to your health. And the loved one who you're taking care of uh, doesn't want you to have to go through that. Uh, so you have to always remember that, that you have to take care of yourself. So if anything uh, good comes out of a situation, uh, an awful situation like that, I mean, I lost my partner of 40 some years and it's, it's, it's hard. It's jarring after everything is over with the burials over, the service is over, your, your friends who came in from out of town are gone. And this is kind of the first day you kind of go, okay, this is my new life. What is that going to look like? And uh, I, I'm still going to, I'm going to be seeing my therapist. I'm going to be talking. And uh, that's why it was important for me to come back to work today. I mean, I, and be back with, the, uh, I have to, you know, you have to keep, I read this book. You got to just keep moving. I mean, it's not going to be the same, but it's, you know, it's, it's just going to be different and you have to re-identify that. But, but please don't be afraid to, yeah, to, to seek out help um, because it's, we all go through it. Every, every family goes through it. You, you mentioned watching someone take their last breath. I yeah. saw my father take his last yeah. breath yeah. watching Vikings Lions. And I'm, I'm watching the game. Yeah. Lions blunder. I look back to my dad. His oxygen mask has fallen off. And all of a sudden, I he went. <gasps> yeah. And then that was it. That was it. But he was my father. And he was 92. Right. And he was older and when my mom passed away she was 92 and yeah. she was my yeah. mother's ruler i've never had as in your case your significant other your lifelong mm -hmm. partner right which has to be i knew my dad was going eventually because yeah. he your, your, your parents are supposed to go before the children do that there's correct. the awful situations when right. they don't right? right right but so i can't even pretend to imagine what you're going through to have like you say, when 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 everyone leaves and the the celebration of life is over, and you go home and close the door and go, that's it. I'm my alone. wife is no longer here. Yeah, I just have the memories, which are important, and they probably keep you going. But I I can't. Well, I can't put myself in your shoes. It's I, I don't. I, well, no matter I, I, how you think you're going to prepare for it, like I said, and my daughter and I had a lot of really uh, close, intimate discussions about it, especially the last week when we knew her quality of life and we knew the end was near. And you're saying you're out loud, not just to yourself, like, I just want this to be over with because yes. it's no way to live. There's no quality of life left. But yet, when that moment happens, there's nothing that can prepare you for it. I mean, literally nothing. I mean, I, I it's, whew, I mean, it, it's, un, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, you could really feel like the nurses, with this open, uh, you feel a spirit and you look for signs and you talk about things. And I know people do this. And, and when people have had these near death experiences and they talk about, you know, seeing these bright lights and they feel really good about it and they come back. It's just, and I, you know, I want to believe in all that. And I, I, I really do. And I, I think there's a spirit that lives on and um, you know, that you refocus and, and that you feel that and, and look for little signs, whether it's a butterfly, whether it's birds, whatever it is that you kind of ask for it, it comes back in different ways. And, uh, that's what we all are dealing with. That's what we all have uh, our, our loved ones around us for, and, and just to keep keep moving. Like I said, I ha I read that book, and you just have to re-identify it. But um, I'm just, uh, I mean, I got I got to work today, and I, I, Garzy gave me these two packages, uh, handwritten notes from every Gopher football player, um, including a very personal one from Tanner Morgan, whose dad died of brain cancer. Right. I mean, I just read it. I just opened, like the first one I read. It was like, and it wasn't just like my condolences. It was like, in great depth about everything. Here's my number. If you ever need anything to talk about, sign Tanner Morgan. Right. I mean, I just go on, on, I just, it's jaw dropping that, you know, it's just, you know, that's the kind of stuff you go. Yeah. You gotta, 
you got to have a good support system, and it really helps. And um, I was fortunate to have that. But when it's all said and done, yeah. it gets dark at night. It's just you're alone. That's it. The your celebration of life was so well done. Thank it, you. It was. Um, I appreciate that. I, it was heart-wrenching, heartwarming, mm-hmm. um, poignant. Um, you Several people spoke, including yourself, daughter, niece, mm-hmm. Don Shelby. Right. Uh, could have done a mic drop. He was he was yeah, very good. He was. And he did it without a teleprompter, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told him he's got to go He's got to go five, six minutes. Otherwise, we have the band there. We will play the Academy Award music right. to get you off stage. But, um, yeah, yeah he, was, was, he was great. He was wonderful. It was and, so well done. And you, you were very composed, even though I could tell that you were having to yeah. fight back. And there were, there were there were not a lot of dry eyes in the house, at least occasionally. Yeah. Because it is, you know, like you, you said, you know, it's funny. Well, you reminded me of Bill Bauer when you said, first three letters of the word funeral spell fun, because that yeah. used to be one of Bill Bauer's bits. Was it really? He used to say that. Oh, I didn't you're know right, that. And, 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 and it's just interesting because I think these funerals, if you want to call it, that they've mm-hmm. changed now. They they, they, right. they used to be, it was a funeral. Mm-hmm. And everybody's sad or is born. And black. And, 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 yeah. And you know what? If you want to cry, if that's how yeah. you're affected, you should. But I mean, it, it's best to point out, let's, let's, let's talk about the good times. Right. And that's what, that's what they did there. And it was, um, and I, you know, even, even though I, I, I met your wife once, so yeah. I didn't know her very well. I felt like I knew her as good as anybody yeah. after hearing all the stories, you know? Well, it, it I, I started out, I prefaced it by saying, you know, we, we had done her, we were tardy in getting our will and health directives done. And we were, we literally did them in May of 2018. I went in oh, kind of late to late to the party for this, but you know, as I mentioned, lawyer Lambert, you know, was the one who it was the, my lawyer and he took care of it. And then at the end, uh, after you get cut the boilerplate stuff done, you go, we talked about the kind of funeral we had and Denise just lit up and go, this is what I want to have. I want, I want to have a joyous celebration. I want people to wear bright clothing. I want to have good food, great music, and and tell stories. And so I went. I wanted to make sure I, I abided by her wishes, and and we were able to achieve all that in a in a you know. And being a producer, I have my old producer hat put on. I know I have you know I'm organized. I have right. this the way I have to do things, and I had a lot of help. I really did. My sister in law Wendy and and uh, her good friend Denise Ryan and and uh, so many other people, Patty Soskin, so many people helped and. Uh, uh, helped out tremendously and to make this work and make it, uh, but I wanted her to be remembered for a lot more than her last three years. I mean, she had decades of, of being a creative director, art director, uh, just amazing kind of impact she had on people, everyone, strangers didn't matter. She just, she had a, 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 a kind of sixth sense of what people needed. And it's, she's a, it was a very unique person. And um, I was very blessed to have her in my life all these years. I, I'm, I'm sure I didn't receive as many, email messages from people regarding your situation as you've received. I, but I did receive hundreds, 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 at least dozens. And you know, I, I read them all and responded to all of them. That was nice. And I, I just grabbed one that kind of summed up what most people were saying. This one just says Rosen's return. It says, hi, Common. I'm writing in hopes that when Rosie comes back, that you can express the entire fan base's heartfelt condolences Rosie's been a bright spot in many of our lives for years and years on TV and radio. And the least we can do now is be there for him. Oh, Thanks, my oh. boy. Signed three putt guy. And there was oh. just one example and that kind of summed up what yeah, most people I, said, you know, as much as we, we love doing the, let's get Rosie well, going. I, ex- and, I expect right. that. Believe me. Oh, and you'll get plenty of oh, it. I know I will. <laughs> but I mean, and as much as people like to get you, you, you do know that, that um, yeah, you're, I, you're, you're, you're admired and loved by a lot of well, people. Well, I, I, again, I, I'm in a unique position. I, I, again, I appreciate it more than you can imagine. And I, I wanted to share part of my story. I was very careful not to, impose on Denise's privacy, which was really important to her. So I had to really pick my spots. But right. when I knew time was coming, at the beginning I talked about it, really didn't talk about it too much in between. But the last six months, you know, uh, coming in here was really hard. I mean, because I, I didn't want to, you know, weigh people down. We had to do our show. And uh, honestly, those were a lot harder days than almost the last I couple admire of weeks. I the, the way you were able to handle it. it you was, would come in here sometimes and you would plop down in that chair and just let out a big... So, yeah, I know it was, you, know, you look exhausted. Yeah. I, I was exhausted because caring for someone at home is really difficult. I mean, it is because it just changes everything. It, it puts a physical burden on yourself and, and the other ones around you. And, and even if you have some caregivers, I slept with one eye open because I was afraid she'd get up in the middle of the night and I'd have to help yeah. her get to the bathroom and, you know, just everything that, that occurred until we were able to get her safely in a place because it was about her safety and our, and my safety. And 
my daughter's safety. So, you know, you do the right things. You have to you have to make the right calls as any family does. But uh, I'm glad to share my story uh, with anyone and everyone who wants to contact me about that because I just feel like I'm in a position right now, especially from a guy's perspective. Um, don't be afraid to seek out help. I mean, it's just it's too much. I mean, there's a lot of grief that goes on and. You have to be prepared for it and uh, learn how to move on in, in your own way. And, and it, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same. It's not, but it doesn't mean that life keeps moving forward. And that's just the way it is. And that's the way you want it. That's the way she'd want it. So that's that's about all I can say about it. Other than the fact that thank you again for everything. It meant, meant a lot to me. There, uh, There's no easy transition, but we'll nope. try. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk with Rosie about a little of this, that, Absolutely. And let's do it. And um, I want to tell you about... My water issues. I had them. Seven city wells shut down due to water contamination where I live in Woodbury. So I had concerns about the quality of the water in my home. Those words are now gone. Thanks to the water specialist at Pentair Water Solutions. Back in April, Alex, a, a Pentair water expert, conducted a free digital Pentair water diagnosis for me. Now, this diagnosis is different from the test tubes and dyes that other companies use. Matter of fact, you can find those tests in hardware stores for crying out loud. 